Hello everybody, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. Today I'd like to show you my top five menu tricks that are going to make your Z-series camera even better and easier to use. And at the end, I'll throw in a bonus trick as well. So you really get six, but it's really five in this video and I'm going to throw you in a bonus from a previous video. But before we get started, I'd just like to ask you to do me one small favor. If anything in this video helps you out, any of these menu tricks, if you set them up in your camera and you find them useful, please do me a favor and help me out by hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates uh, on this channel when it comes out. It's free to do, it doesn't cost anything, and it helps me out, so I'd appreciate it. Also, feel free to like, and if you comment, I try to answer almost all the comments on the channel as best I can. So feel free to leave me a comment and I will shoot you a, a line back. So with that on the side, let's get started. So my first menu trick that I'd like to show you is the ability to take your Nikon Z series camera and while focusing, be able to hit a button and zoom in to 100% magnification and zoom right back out. So couple of different buttons you could use but if you have one of these S series lenses this lens function button is a great button to do that with so you're focusing you just hit this button right here the camera will zoom into 100% magnification hit it a second time it'll bump right back out okay so that's a great use for this button to uh, make sure that you have perfect focus and alternately if you don't have an S series lens or Maybe you just want to use this menu trick, but with all your lenses, because some lenses are S series and some aren't. Um, I think that using the button right back here on the joystick is a great uh, second option. So you can just hit this button straight in uh, and then release it and then hit it a second time. That'll zoom you in and zoom you out. So you have a choice on that, but I'm going to program it to the function button. All right, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're in our menu system of our Z-Series camera, and we're going to go down to the Custom Settings menu. And then we are going to move down to F for Controls. Once you get there, scroll on down to Custom Control Assignment, and then we're going to move this down to our Lens Function button, which is that bottom one there, and hit that. And then from there, we're just going to scroll on through this list and we're going to look for zoom. There it is, zoom on, zoom off. And then just set that to one to one for 100% magnification. And that is all set up. Alternately, if you wanted to program it to that back joystick button, there it is. You could do that uh, from here as well. Okay, so there you have it, pretty simple. And we have our one to one magnification all set up. Okay, so here's a quick example of what that's going to look like. We hit that function button and you see how we've zoomed all the way into 100% to check our focus. So again, we just hit that function button, hit it again to bump right out, and that's pretty much how it works. Pretty convenient, uh, definitely something that you're going to want to take advantage of and program into your camera. Okay, so my second menu trick that I want to show you is a quick way to do a image review on the back of your Z-Series camera. Now, with Canon cameras, there's a little dial on the back, and if you've ever seen users use it, they just kind of spin their finger and the images kind of fly by on the screen. And the Z-Series camera, you can kind of do it like this and like that. It's pretty quick, it's not so bad. Okay, but also, a quick way to do it is to program this command dial so that you can just spin this command dial and go right through your images. And then spinning the front command dial will actually jump you 10 at a time. Okay, so that's a really nice handy way and convenient way of scrolling through your images. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's check that out. Okay, so to set this up, all we need to do is go down to our custom settings menu, select F for controls, and then from there, we are going to scroll on down to F5 and then we're going to select menus and playback 
and we're going to set that to on so it's on all the time not just uh, when we're in the image review and that's it that's all there is to it and then you will have those settings uh, set up so that you can scroll one at a time with the back command dial and ten at a time via the front command dial okay so the third Nikon Z series menu trick I'd like to show you is the ability to change metering on the fly so you're here you're up and all of a sudden you realize you know what matrix metering isn't going to do it for you you want to quickly change from matrix to center weighted to spot metering maybe highlight uh, weighted metering and I'm going to show you how to do that by just spinning this command button and we're going to use this function button right up at the top here so we have the top function button that we're going to set to metering and that's going to allow us to quickly change metering using the command dial on the back of the camera so let's check that out okay so to set this up we're just going to go to the custom settings menu and from there we're going to go down to F for controls and then we're going to select F2 for custom control assignment select that top F1 button set it to metering and from there you are all set all right so menu setting number four okay in the series is going to be the ability to change our focus modes on the fly and we're going to use the button that we did from the previous setting but we're going to use the button below okay so this button right down in here and you're going to be able to just take your camera and spin the back command dial and you'll be able to go from single to continuous to manual focus by just spinning your back command dial while holding that front button and then additionally you're going to be able to change from wide area focus to uh, to uh, full screen focus to pin focus okay to all the different focus modes uh, in your z-series camera by spinning that front command dial so by holding this button down we're going to program it to spin the back dial that's going to change from continuous to single to manual focus spinning the front will change our focus points okay so hey let's check that out okay so to set this up go to your controls menu back to f2 custom controls assignment select the f2 button and choose focus mode and you now have focus mode and area focus mode set to your function 2 button all right our fifth menu trick is going to be the ability to change the focus points based on orientation so if we're shooting this way and then we switch to this way but then suddenly we switch back what the camera's going to do is it's going to remember the focus point of when you had the camera in horizontal orientation and it's going to remember the focus point that you used in vertical orientation and it'll automatically switch back and forth between those last used points based on how you rotate the camera so it's a pretty handy thing especially if you're using a single focus point okay maybe you're in a situation where um, you know face detection isn't working maybe you're a little bit too far away maybe you're shooting a concert or something like that and you need to quickly switch back and forth between orientations or maybe you're shooting animals uh, and again uh, it's just a really handy feature to have enabled so let's take a look at this menu trick and then we'll get back to that uh, final bonus trick okay so let's check it out okay so let's go back to our custom settings menu and from there we're going to choose a for autofocus and we're going to scroll down to a6 store points by orientation and say yes once you've done that your camera will remember the uh, last focus point used in vertical and horizontal orientation okay so for that final bonus trick that i mentioned um, that's going to be in a covered in a previous video but I'm going to show you how to quickly format your media card, your uh, your XQD card or your SD card, depending on which Z-series camera that you're using, uh, very quickly without having to dig through all sorts of menus. Now that is covered in a previous video, so I'll just show you quickly what it's going to look like, and then we'll leave you the link to that other video so you can check that out. Okay, so all we need to do is just drop down to the My Menu 
and you'll see format is the first option we say yes and after that our memory card gets formatted no more digging through menus and submenus to format our memory cards so check that video out okay so thanks for watching i hope you found that helpful once again if anything in this video does help you out please help me out by hitting the subscribe button ring the bell and like and comment so uh, we can connect and let me know what you think what's your favorite menu trick uh, that we covered in this video did you know any of them let me know uh, about that um, you know some people read through the manual and they go through these different options and settings and listen it's hard to remember all of them so maybe maybe you knew one or two of these from this video but maybe there was one or two that you had forgotten about or that you didn't know about and you picked up on let me know in the comments um, how that worked out for you all right so hey thanks again for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye bye